That's Wallace J. Nichols walking through the wreckage that was the home he built with his family from the ground up. But if you can believe it, there was one other thing harder than seeing the ruins in person, and that is putting these words to paper. My dearest Wallace Grace. It's a letter to his daughter, who had just left for college, telling her that the home she grew up in was gone. It felt like um, a 20-year walk that I was trying to to portray. The house that stood here was nestled in the Redwoods, just north of Davenport. It burned at the height of the CZU Lightning Complex fire last week. But to listen to Jay Nichols' words is to imagine the home rising from the ashes. I'll let him take it from here. We built your home around you when you were still inside your mother. I thought a lot about every piece of wood and stone. People who visited always asked about the overbuilt stoutness and soulfulness of our, our home. I always said that I built the house around my baby girl to protect her and her, raise her and her sister. Your house in the Redwoods by the creek and ocean lasted nearly 19 years. It held thousands of visitors, beautiful music, salmon dinners, and rich, deep conversations. I'd hoped that it would be yours someday, and I was working hard to keep it. It burned to the ground in a wildfire caused by lightning in the most beautiful storm I've ever seen. I believe it served its original purpose fully and completely. You are strong thanks to this home. You are made of Mill Creek water, the fruit from our trees. I wish I could have protected our home. Please carry the sweet memories that the sweet memories with you wherever you go. Jay Nichols signed his letter simply Dad. Just one more example that the fires didn't destroy mere structures, but homes fully loved. From Santa Cruz County, Chris Reyes for ABC7 News.